Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martin Cross Nation. And as you guys can probably tell, I finally, I mean, you can't see it of course, but <laughs> I finally got my laptop back. In case you weren't aware, I happened to accidentally have left my laptop at the airport on the way back from traveling. Um, I wasn't leaving to vacation. I was actually coming back from it. <laughs> So that's even worse because it's not like, oh, hey, you know, I left my laptop at the airport where my home is. It's like, no, I left my laptop at the airport where I just came back from. <laughs> it was a little it was a little scary on my part, but I have it back now, uh, which is great. So it, it kind of sucks. I meant to make some video at the beginning of the week, but obviously I couldn't do that. Um, but now I'm back and we are starting off with this video. And as you can probably tell uh, just from the title and thumbnail and such that we're basically going to be going over basically some of the uh medals that come out in jp now i've done this type of video in the past where i've done like sneak peek preview type stuff and stuff um but i figure because of how much everybody tends to be talking about these medals anyways within the community uh who follow jp and stuff like that especially when it comes to like opinions of whether or not you should like chase for certain medals and such i i figure i might as well make these videos just to kind of help address those things in advance because i know some people will mistakenly like save for a specific metal just for it to end up not actually be worth pulling for if that makes sense um at least at least competitively it's not worth pulling for uh i completely understand that there's people out there who who pull medals simply because of the fact they just like the character or, or they like the uh the aesthetics or and you know stuff of that nature so i completely understand that aspect but at the very least on a competitive sense let's go ahead and talk about some of the upcoming medals that are coming up fairly soon so within jp about 10 days ago or so they released a new banner for Prime Kingdom Hearts Cloud, as well as Super Burst, which is probably gonna be called Supernova, uh, Sephiroth. Now real quick, let's go ahead and look over what exactly these medals do. Prime Cloud is a tier five power upright medal, six gauges AOE, has a max multiplier at seven star, at a 23.85 to a 35.9, and his ability is for one turn, he raises your upright strength by three, your power strength by seven, lowers the target's upright power defense by seven tiers and their general defense by five tiers raises your guilt bonus by 80 percent restores three gauges and does more damage against one enemy or zero parts left for raid bosses and does not affect counters so basically in a nutshell he's just a power upright version of say prime riku versus roxas supernova sephiroth is a tier eight power reverse metal costs six gauges aoe has a seven star total max multiplier of a 31.48 to a 47.39 and this is what the ability does for one turn he raises your reverse strength by three tiers your power strength by seven tiers lowers the targets reverse and power strength by seven tiers and defense by seven tiers increases your guilt bonus by 100 percent restores three gauges does more damage against one enemy or zero parts left for raid bosses and does not affect counters now in a nutshell this is basically just a power reverse version of the Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku EX Plus medal that we just got not so long ago. Uh, the special thing about this medal though, however, is the fact he comes with a new mechanic called the Supernova mechanic, which in a nutshell is just an enhanced version of the Nova that we currently have in game. Just like with the Nova button, there will also be a Supernova button right below it, um, in which case you can actually activate the Supernova corresponding to the metal that you're using keep in mind that just like with regular nova you can only use the supernova for that corresponding metal only once per quest uh, and the same thing applies for pvp as well but from what i understand that also means that the more metals you have equipped that have supernova attached the more times you can activate supernova the strength of a supernova is going to be determined by the actual strength stat of the metal that it's corresponding to so in this case that means that metals with supernova that are also boosted will actually have an advantage simply because of the fact that supernova is based off the strength stat now in jp for their banner they actually had a banner in which case they were able to get a merciable cloud uh with his seven star version as the mercy uh within five poles as along with 10 vip coins and the supernova sephiroth metal was thrown in there 
uh, as a kind of, you know, non-mercy. Kind of similar to how what we had for the Nominate EX Plus banner, where we had the Riku versus Roxas as the mercy medal, but then, like, Nominate EX Plus was just kind of there. You could possibly pull for him, for her. Uh, the same thing applies for this banner as well in JP, which is that you can mercy Cloud, but you can't mercy Sephiroth. Now, in regards to Prime Cloud, uh, it should be fairly obvious, but he has a tier 5 Prime Metal. He's just a power upright version of Riku vs. Roxas, so it's already pretty well known and guaranteed that he's going to be a very good metal, along the fact that I kind of forgot to mention, but every single pull, at least in the JP version of this banner, you're also guaranteed the 6-star version of the metal. And it's only on the 5th Mercy pull that you can actually get the 7-star version. But just like with the other Prime Medals in the past, even just the uh, six star medal <laughs> is, is pretty good. So there's not really too much to say about Cloud. Uh, in terms of the Supernova Sephiroth though, uh, he, he is obviously super good. He is way more powerful than the actual Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, Riku EX Plus medal that we got just not so long ago. The only difference of course being his new Supernova mechanic uh it's literally it's quite literally just this mechanic alone which makes him busted he does an outrageous amount of damage with this new mechanic um but at the same time what i will be saying is that because of the fact that it's he's a non-mercy pool in jp i can pretty much safely assume that he's going to be a non-mercy pool as well uh, here in global if we ever actually get these uh, banners anytime soon, which I, I'm assuming we will. For all I know, we could even get it tomorrow <laughs> or Saturday. If not these next couple days, we'll, we'll definitely get it sometime next week. But at least in terms of this banner, if we do actually end up getting the same exact banner, I know a lot of people who are aware of Sephiroth are already trying to plan to save up for Sephiroth, uh, but I'm here to tell you, as I've kind of mentioned before in the past, like, any non-mercy pull is not worth chasing after. Despite how good the supernova mechanic is for Sephiroth, realistically, he's only the first medal with the mechanic within the game that's going to be coming along. We are going to be getting more medals that come along. Chances are that are going to be mercy pulls as well. Uh, that are going to have the new mechanic too. So it, it's not like it's in the end of the world if you don't get Sephiroth. Just like how Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku EX Plus wasn't really you know, necessary to obtain. The same thing is going to be said about the Supernova Sephiroth, okay? Um, he's only going to be meta, okay, for as long as he's the only metal with the new Supernova mechanic. But as soon as more metals with the Supernova me mechanic come out, he's no longer going to be meta. <laughs> That's just how it's going to be. <laughs> so it's because of this, like, Sephiroth's not really worth chasing for. I, I wouldn't, quite honestly, you can really just kind of ignore him. You can almost ignore this whole banner, assuming we get the same exact banner once it comes out. Just pull once and boom, you're done. Um, but that's just kind of my thoughts about it. I'll definitely be trying to get at least my my six star version of Cloud when he comes out. Uh, but in, in terms of Sephiroth, assuming he's non mercy, I'm just I'm just not even gonna pay attention to him. Uh, but with that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It is the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation and. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.